Yes, the rumors are true. As you can see, I did let my girlfriend cut my hair. Now, here's what I want you all to do. First, I want you all to like the video. Then second, I want you to give that haircut a rating on a scale of one to 10. My offensive and defensive eBooks are now available over on hotrock.tips. If you guys are looking to win more games than Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another Chaos Coaching video. And just because we got a haircut does not mean we're gonna get rid of that Chaos Coaching head. We've gotta wear our getup when we're in our coaching mode. Today, I'm gonna be breaking down my brand new offense that I have not shown on my main channel yet. It is the Near Close Flex. Near Flex Close? Near Close Flex Offense out of the West Coast Playbook. It is super efficient, super explosive. Now, if you wanna see it more, I've uploaded already on my second channel. If you haven't followed me there, you can catch extra videos. It's usually just going to be cuts and clips from my stream. It's enjoyable gameplay. It's usually really close games, less edited, more just raw, competitive, great gameplay. Starting off with the lineup, I'm going to be going over the essentials and everything that you're going to have to need to run this offense. First, you're going to need an escape artist QB. Now, I happen to have Michael Vick's golden ticket, courtesy of Jits. Once again, he let me borrow him. But if you can't get him, you can't get one of the golden tickets. You're gonna be doing just fine if you just have an escape artist QB. That is the most important thing. Now I'll show you the abilities that I have on Vic. I have Hot Route Master, Escape Artist, Gunslinger, and Dashing Deadeye. Now if you can't get a Golden Ticket QB, my best recommendation is to get Patrick Mahomes and you can get all of these abilities except for the Hot Route Master. The most important ones are definitely Escape Artist, Gunslinger, and Dashing Deadeye. Now you're also gonna to wanna to be activating one of your receivers. I have Tory Holt activated with him. I have In Out Elite, Post Flag Elite, Streak Specialist, and Grab and Go. Now, of course, I don't need the Route Apprentice abilities because I have Michael Vick, but if you don't have Hot Route Master, you can just replace In Out Elite with Slot Apprentice or Wide Receiver Apprentice, and it'll do just fine. And finally, you're gonna need a tight end who's gonna be able to get activated, who has a lot of speed. I'm using Darren Waller. You can, of course, use someone like Evan Ingram. He'll work as well. I have Streak Specialist, In Out Elite, and Post Slag Elite. Again, if you don't have Hot Route Master, you're gonna want a tight end apprentice on him. You don't wanna use in out elite if that's the case. However, again, I have Michael Vick, so this will do. As for the rest of this lineup, really guys, you're just gonna want the best possible players you can get. I have two solid running backs, a really good O-line. Defensively, again, it's just whatever you have for preferences. My, my safeties are all great because I like to put safeties in at linebacker when I go to one, four, six. I have good linebackers for when I'm in three, four odd to stop the run. Again, guys, just, just rounding out your lineup. It's really going to be about an off about the offense for today's video. I really want to go at it, help show you guys how effective this offense can be. Now, before I get into it, I do want to stress this is going to be an ebook on hotroute.tips very soon, probably within two to three weeks. I am super excited to drop it. So I'm not going to give you guys exact setups in this video, but you guys can see what I'm like, what I like to do, how I like to attack defenses. And again, I just broke down every ability and the certain players that you're going to want for this West Coast near close flex offense. It's extremely effective. I've had a lot of success in it. Crohn's had a lot of success with it. He's the one actually the one who started running it before me. So I actually kind of stole it from him. But either way, it's been a great offense. It's been working out on weekend league. It works out in mud head to head. I'm gonna be breaking it down for you guys today. So West Coast offense, Green Bay Packers defense. That's it for the team. Let's get into the game. All right, we are ready to get after. You see he's got that Patty Mahomes, who's probably the best non-golden ticket QB in the game. But we're rocking with Michael Vick. Now, if you're new to these videos, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button. If you're trying to get better at the game, this is definitely the place for you. In these videos, I try to break down everything that I'm doing, both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. They will probably focus a little bit more on offense just simply because we're rocking the new O, but I'll still be breaking down defense, trying to show you guys how to stop him, how to, how to stop my opponent and best adjust whatever it is that they're doing and we're definitely going to be happy because we're starting on oh and i get to utilize this offense right away we don't have to wait for a defensive stop wait for a possession we're going to get started right away the first thing i want to break down is just basically putting your players in position to be successful so putting the, the putting the rod ability guy at the top putting your other receiver at the other side putting two running backs in instead of having a fullback setting your audibles all of that stuff is super important you want to have every option and play available to make do now i'm gonna call time out here you don't usually have to do that if you're not talking through a video but since i am i want to make sure i have everything down for you guys making sure i have all my players in the correct positions and being able to make do with it so 
We're going to get this game started. We're going to ball out. Going to try to get started rolling early with a little bit of a dot. We'll see what he's using. Oh, we had a touchdown. We had a touchdown first play and I missed it. Oh, he was lurking on the safety. He got greedy. I was trying to throw it. He got a crazy shed. How awesome would it have been if we started off first play with a straight up bomb laser deep? But unfortunately, I missed the read and I didn't get the pass off, but that's okay. All right, he's blitzing here. We're going to go outside that pocket. Break back on the tight end. Break back on the tight end. Yes, sir. That's dashing and that's dead eye. Don't quit. Don't quit us. All right. We'll get a game two. Here we are in game two. You see, yes, Patrick Mahomes, probably the best QB in the game. Once again, other than Michael Vick and RG3, because they get the hot round master, they get the escape artist. I'm just going to be showcasing these games too. If we get quick quits, we'll keep flying through them. I want this to be a little bit longer video. I want to showcase the full. Oh, we're going to be starting on defense, unfortunately, this time. But you already got a little taste in the last game of how effective the dots can be and just how effective the, the offense can be in general. Because you have to play the run. You have to play the pass. You have to play the rollout. You can play from the pocket. There's so many different things you can do, especially if you have a golden ticket QB. But even without it, you can do so many different things. So I'm excited to keep showing it to you. Ooh, he's gonna be running it too this should be fun this should be fun considering the fact that we're gonna be running the exact same offense now you're gonna kind of get to see what i like to do defensively against it but then you also get to see how i like to attack his i'm sure he has a decent defense for it considering the fact that he runs it himself so he probably knows what he hates to play against we should have a decent defense for it it should be a decent game gotta try to keep him in the pocket here i might even utilize the user rush if need be if he continues to try to roll out i gotta keep him in there so i have to do whatever it takes him in the pocket user rush coming becoming a very common thing for people that want to roll out and here we go and we're going oh i was so close to getting him but that's what i want to do to try to keep him in the pocket hopefully we can keep him from getting that dot off just quick enough there but all right we have another chance here come on i'm going to change up the way i'm playing defense with my zones but i'm going to keep the same defense in that i'm going to try to keep him from getting outside the pocket you do not want to let people get outside the pocket on you especially in this offense because it can be so effective now if the user rush isn't working, I'll go to something else if I need to. And we're here. We're here. Oh, I thought the soft squad would do a better job there. He's lasering. This offense is so good. I might mix in the fake user rush here. Try to bait back and get a pick on him. Do whatever I can to, to break his rhythm. Because he's dotting us down the field right now. He's already in the red zone. Come on, can't wake up. Figure something out. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. We got our spy there too. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. I'm actually acting like I'm blitzing, like just like I have been. However, I'm not. I'm going to be sending no pressure at him whatsoever. And we should be able to confuse him here. Maybe get him to max pro. And if we have eight people in coverage, we should be able to get a stop. We have a spy as well. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. We're here. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Th Erlacher picked the ball off. He did exactly what I wanted him to do. And he throws a pick and we swat into the ground. Oh, that one hurts. That one hurts. But we're doing a good job here. Mix up the defense, keeping him confused. As long as I continue to do that, we should be just fine. Now he's going to probably max pro again here. We're going to be sending pressure. Hopefully we can keep him in the pocket. Come on. Keep him in the pocket. He's rolling. We have, we have zones there. Oh, pick the ball up, please. That's too straight. We have put our mid read there to try to take away the middle of the field. And it did just what it was supposed to do. And it didn't get the pick. That's unfortunate. We get, we held him to three, though, which isn't the end of the world. Now we get to showcase the offense some more. Show what it's about. We already showed the dots. Now we can show the run a little bit with the lasers, mixing it all in. Now, I'm not on a hash. I like being on hash marks. You all know this. Every offense I run, I like to be on a hash mark. I forgot to flip my run. I forgot about I, All I was doing was trying to run to get to the hash there. I didn't flip my run. It probably would have been a bigger gain, but we'll take it. I think he's sending big pressure right here. We're going to try to hit this flat on a quick read. And he... He didn't send pressure, but he was in the cover four. I got stuck. Did you see my running back? I'm showing it to you. I got to show it to you. I have to show it to you. He wouldn't let me pass the ball. He's grabbing my arm. Move out the way. I couldn't swerve there because I couldn't throw the pass on time. That was truly unfortunate. Now, he might send pressure and he might scream right here. If he does, we're just going to try to roll out left. It doesn't matter if he hums. He didn't send pressure. We should have something here. And nothing will be, but we have Vic, but we have Vic. Oh, that's why you got to get yourself a fast QB. That wasn't the offense or anything. That was literally just Vic being the best. That's two plays in a row now. He did not send pressure. So I'm not worried about the pressure until he sends it now. I'm just going to assume he's not sending pressure until he ch changes his mind. And we got a touchdown and we got a touchdown and we got a touchdown. Let's go. He's using the deep blue. He's in the box. That's what's so effective about this offense. Now, I haven't had a great run yet. I only had one run and I lost a yard, but I forgot to flip it. So that's out the water. The fact of the matter is he has to play inside the box with a safety, bring eight in the box worried about the run he's so far down we put a streak on the field we get an easy touchdown it worked out perfectly for us 
and that is the beauty of this offense. Unfortunately, we have to play defense again. We have to show you all defense in this game. If I could just play offense the whole time, I'd do it. But the, you got everyone needs help on both sides of the ball, so we have to do it this way. It's not a big deal. Send a spy. Go get that. Go get that. Go get that. Erlacher to the crib. To the crib. They're not going to catch him. Beat him. Oh, all right. Well, this is actually good. This is actually good. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. This offense is so effective inside the five. This is the best part about the offense. When you're inside the five, this is all you have to do. This is all you have to do. You have to call a run play out of the formation and then just run the ball. It's plain and simple. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Otherwise, I'm just going to look silly. But there we go. Just go. Oh, we didn't get in. Unbelievable. That's literally just me having no stick. I mean, there was 17 holes open there. You all can run the ball so much better than me. You're going to be way better than me in this offense. How do I not get in there? All right, we scored that time. I don't know how I didn't get it on first down. That was so, so bad. No, don't quit. Come on, we're in the same. Oh, we can, we can just play it together. Come on. Oh, he quit. All right, we're going to keep him rolling. On to game three. I am excited to keep it rolling here. If this gamer tag is true, I actually believe I know who this is. I'm not going to say it just in case he is not him or he doesn't want it to show it's him. But I believe this guy's in my Twitch chat almost every single time I stream. This should be a good game. We're starting on defense here. We still haven't truly gotten to show what this offense is all about. But this should be a good game. He's in tight slots, H-back week, which is probably one of the best offenses of the game, if not the best offense behind near close flex, of course. Out of blend into trips here. This offense is so effective. You can do so many different things. Ah, let me... Come on, you gotta jump for that, Taylor! I need Taylor Mays to pick that. Come on, baby, you're 6'3". Get those hands up and go pick that ball off for me. But all right, all right, we're gonna get this touch up here. We should be able to get home. Hopefully he can't make a quick read back there. We gotta make sure we get this touch up. If we don't get this touch up, we're not gonna get home. There we go. Oh, nice read, nice quick read. That's another effective thing about this offense. You can get the ball out so quick, easy, quick five yard out routes, hitches, lots of things you can do out of it. He's starting our pressure up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna act like we're sending pressure, but we're actually only gonna send four people out and that's that's the key to this game you got to mix up what you're doing keep your opponent on their toes and never let them know what you're doing so it looks like i'm sending pressure right it looks like i'm sending seven people we have everyone in the box but really we're going to be spying and making sure we have everyone taken away on the outside on any quick routes hitches out routes anything like that he's getting this ball off here we're here we're here oh wow another out of reach I, to be fair i was going for the running back but we were actually in perfect position to pick that ball off i love our defense here i love our defense here we're, we're gonna be disguising it we're gonna be taking away the running back no way we're gonna give up anything here not gonna give up anything deep either he looks like we're sending pressure again but we're not and we're humming at him let's go he's audible into his trips again i feel like i have a really good defense for it hopefully it keeps working hopefully we don't give him anything over the top hopefully we don't give him anything quick hopefully we just keep getting sacks because th that's the easiest way to play defense this year right just send pressure at your opponent get sacks that that's my favorite thing to do now he's gonna motion over and probably block this guy no he's not gonna block him all right oh no i got stuck on peppers no, 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 no. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I don't know if we would have got better defense if I was on my user there, but that's not what we wanted. One of the worst things in this game is getting stuck on your user when you're trying to adjust either B or RB or anything like that. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. You feel helpless when you're on a D-line and trying to run around covered 99 speed receivers. We should have everything taken away again. And there we go. We're humming again. We forced the stop. We're going to be back on offense. I love it. I love it. That's what we're here for, right? We're here to showcase the offense and we get to start at the 20. Not on a hash again, so we're just going to run the ball. And this time I remember to flip, so we should have a decent game there. We should have a decent... Man, oh, I mean, I know I say it a lot, but if I had any type of stick, it looks like he knows the defense that I know for this. Hopefully he doesn't hum at us right here. Please don't send all seven people at me. All right, we got the block. We got the block. We should have a dot. Catch that. Nice. The posts and corners in this formation just get to such great spots on the field. It makes it so easy to pass when you get any type of time in the pocket. And then you can do this. And then you can run the ball. And they have to play run defense and pass defense. It's a chess match, and it's extremely tough to stop. Hopefully, he lets us get out of the pocket right here. I would love to throw a corner out. And we should get it. We should get it. Make the throw. There we go, Vic. There we go, baby. We're in the red zone here. I'm going to try to catch him lacking with hope. Please, please put a cloud flat right here. Please put a cloud flat. Ah, uh, he didn't. Good defense by him. Just run. Just run with Vic. This is why you get yourself an escape artist. Go get your free yards. We're looking wheeler corner right here. Wheeler corner. Oh, he put the hard flat that time. Run, run, Vic. Oh, wow. I think we're going to catch him right here. I think he's going to put the cloud flat. And I think we're going to get this post or this deep post over the top. We didn't. We have. Uh, we playmaker. Yes, Vic. Yes. Just be a monster. All right, we're getting on the ball. We're getting on the ball. We're going to keep him in this defense. We're going to keep him in this defense. We're just going to run the dive. This is what we do. He's in big nickel. He's in nickel normal. We're just going to run this dive. Come on. Go get a block. Go get a block. Ball in. 
Oh, that wasn't in. Keep him in it. If you, if you, yep, you see, that's the call timeout right there. If you catch someone in the defense that they don't want to be in, you go no huddle all day until they call that timeout. You force them to call timeout or you just keep gashing them. I would have gashed them all day in that defense. Now, it's not going to go from the one, so I'm going to run the ball again anyways, right? But the fact of the matter is, we wanted them in that defense. We're up seven, nothing. Let's go. You all are already getting to see how prolific this offense can be. We're passing the ball effectively. We're running the ball effectively. And he just, honestly, he if he wants to play pass defense, we usually run the ball. If he wants to play run defense, we pass the ball. It makes it so difficult to stop. Now you can contrast that with, a, with an offense like this where they're probably passing the ball 80 to 75% of the time. So it's such a big, it's just a big plus to know that they're going to be passing the ball to this. Whereas when you're on the offense, they don't know what you're doing. They don't know if you're passing, if you're running, what you're doing. Get out there, get out there, get out. Oh no, 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 no. Uh-oh, I don't like my defense right here. I messed up my setup a little bit. I'm just going to use this guy right here. Definitely do not like my setup. Oh, he's got a dot. Good dot, good dot, good dot. Oh, uh, when you audible from the tight to the trip side end, your alignments get all messed up. It makes it really hard to play defense. We're actually looking like we're not sending pressure here, but we're actually sending seven people out. Now, it might be a little bit delayed, but I'm going to try to bait him into sending extra extra guys out or, or double teaming and trying to roll out, and we're going to get a guy home. He didn't do either one, but we got home. That's a delayed blitz. It didn't come in super screaming, but it came in fast enough that he had all deep routes. I told you it didn't look like we were blitzing, right? He max pro thinking, okay, I'll definitely block this. And he sent three deep routes out. Nothing doing. We're set up perfectly right here. I love my defense. Got a bump on the post. Oh, the post still beat him, even though I bumped him. Nice play. That's the other great thing about going from the tight slots over to the trip side end. He has a receiver at tight end. He's got Torrey Holt there. And no linebacker, even if you have a safety there, is ever going to stop that. That's a little bit unfortunate by us. He's gonna He's been utilizing that tight end. Well, excuse me, that wide receiver at tight end with that post. We're going to make sure we lock that up this time. Take that away. We're going to have a backside zone for anything that he has, like drags going across the field. And we're going to take away that post ourselves. We're not going to let him beat us with that every single play. And there it is. There's that post again. And we're right on it. My guy, because the other route was, was going right through that path. Blocked my pick. That was an easy pick for my user. This fourth and seven is going to be a huge tell for the rest of the game. We're going to find out right away what his best play is. He knows he needs his first down. He's gotten stopped already, and he's on a big fourth down. If he gets stopped again, he's going to be in big trouble. This is where you find out what his best play is. So keep this keep this in our notes. We're going to find out right away what his best play is. And I'm on that with Tillman. Well, I'm on that with Tillman, baby. Let's go to the crib, to the crib, to the crib. Ah, now I don't know if that was his best play. I expected his best play on fourth and seven to put it in my mental notes for later on a big play later on. I don't know if it was his best play or not, but we were able to get the stop. Now this drive before half is crucial. If we can get three, we're in prime position to control the game. Now he came out in two, three, six, Will. There's no way that this thing is stopping that. Thank you, thank you for running that just so I can show you all how great this offense is. They can't run stuff like that. You struggle with one, four, six. You struggle with two, three, six, Will. You go to this offense, you gash them with dive every single play. It's so effective. I mean, who wants to go into three for odd every single play and have to stop the pass? Not me. Now, I did not expect to score that quickly. We kind of flipped the script here. Now, we need to make sure we get a stop and don't give him momentum going into halftime. So, I'm going to set up my defense just the way we've been doing it. Play a little bit conservative. We're not going to send seven people. I don't want to give him a big play. There's no reason to do that. I'm on this tight end. We'll give him that underneath drag. We'll give him that waist clock. That is fine. He only has one timeout. He's got to blow it right there. Nothing crazy. I'm going to make sure I don't give up any type of bombs. We have our deep halves out there. And we're pretty much good to go. Make him take that drag. Make him take that drag. Don't throw it at me. Don't throw it at me. Ah, well, we kept him in bounds. That's good enough for me. Same concept. I'm not changing it up. We are making sure we don't give him anything deep over the top. I'm watching this tight end on any type of post streaks. He's pretty much mine no matter what he's on. I got stuck. Oh, wow. Yes, I saw. You heard me say the tight end's mine no matter what he's on post or streak. I saw him go on the streak. I was getting bumped by my own player. He was keeping me from getting to him. But oh, well, we got sacked. That's why... That's why you send pressure at somebody, right? We go into halftime up 14 nothing. That was almost a monumental mistake, though. Now, we probably could gash this with one of our fullback dives, but we're not going to use that. I want to show the passing for this offense. I don't want to just continue running the ball every play. We should have one of these posts. Ah, bad play by me. Bad play. I set up my rollout to go right, but we're going to have the post on the left. You can't throw it across the field like that, though. No reason to force it. Right? We're a 14-point lead. You got to be smart. I know I want to showcase the offense, but I got to be smart. I don't need to do anything crazy. We're just going to continue to try to dot our way down the field and do the best we can. Now, I'm going to set up another play here. Not try to go. I've been trying to go deep pretty much every play. Now, not every play like super, like 80 yards deep, but I've been going for big chunks. There's nothing wrong with baby dots. There is nothing wrong with baby dots. I'm looking for my running back wheel here. He's on it. Now we'll take our post. If he wants to lurk the running back wheel, then we'll take our post. The play before, I think I saw a cloud flat over here. If so, we should be able to get over top of it right here. Let me get this post. Uh, every time I see the cloud flat, 
he he fixed it. He's doing a good job, but we're taking our dots underneath. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't quit. Come on. We're showcasing the O. Oh, come on, baby. Stay in the game. Oh, he quit out. All right, all right, all right. We'll get a game four for y'all. I, I, I just want to show the O off a little bit. I am sorry, everybody, that we have not been able to get a full game. You haven't been able to see in the late game part of this offense, but the fact of the matter is, if this offense is going to be this effective, you're going to have a ton of fun. Strip, strip. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just getting ready to tell you guys that I had to start on defense once again. When we get a strip fumble, I will take that any day of the week. He's in the cover three right here. It looks like I'm going to motion out this flat. We should be able to swerve it. Oh, he played cover. He played cover uh, Cover two. Just run with Vic. Just run with Vic. We got space. Just slide. Just slide. Don't take any hits with him. He's going to send heavy pressure once again. Hopefully. Oh, he didn't send pressure. Hopefully, we can get this corner out. Ah, we didn't have the space to throw it. Just throw the ball away. Don't make mistakes in these games, guys. If you can throw the ball away without taking a sack or don't need to force anything into a pick, feel free to do that. There is no reason ever to just force in a pass, especially on a first down like that. So I, I'm, I'll gladly throw the ball away here. I think he's going to put this cloud flat again over here. If he does it, we should have Tory Holt over the top. But if not, yep, there it is. There it is. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Laser, baby. That's a B. This offense pretty much has an answer for anything. Cover two, cover three, cover four. There's different ways to attack it. There's certain corner routes in this game that get speed burst when you have high deep route running over 90. That's one of them. It's out of the smash play. But there's plenty of them all over the place. There's one in split close with H-back wheel. There's one in bunch with corner strike. If you have a corner route that gets a speed burst like that, you can attack cover two very easily. He's coming out of this in this taste of hill package. He's probably going to run blast. Oh, baby. I, I'm very, very lucky I made that tackle. We're going to have to deal with the blast. I think I have some defense for it, so I think we should be okay. He's audible from this tight offset, it looks like. Yep, yep, yep. There it is. We should be able to stop it. Come on. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. No, 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 no. There we go. At least this one guy got back there because that's how you make the plays against this thing. I have played tight offset so many times. He's doing a good job audibling from this thing. But if he wants to stay in, in that uh, in that tight offset, he's going to struggle. I've played Taylor so many times. Or excuse me. Played Throne. Sorry, everybody that knows him by Throne. i played him so many times. That I'm so used to it. Big fourth down coming up right here. We're going to get his best play. I always tell you. I've said it five times in this video. You're going to get the best play when you go to fourth down. So we got to be ready for it. I'm actually going to, I'm going to look like I'm sending pressure, but I'm not sending pressure right here. I'm not sending it. I didn't mean to back that guy up, but we're still giving a decent look here. Hopefully we can get home. Hopefully we can get him to throw a pick. I'm, I'm sprinting straight to the right. Sprinting straight right. No out routes, no drags. He's got an open corner out. Nice play. Ah, here I am talking trash about playing tight offset a million times. I know what to do. I give up the biggest dot on fourth down. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. Oh, inside zone. I got caught moving in. I got caught moving in. I don't want that. Move down, move down. I'm ready for this inside zone again. He saw success with it. He's probably going to go back to it fairly quickly. If he does that, we just got to make sure we're ready to blow it up. They've nerfed a little bit of the inside zone defense out of 146. It was never great against tight offset to begin with, so it doesn't really make a difference. He's passing. Oh, man. He had a wide open touchdown. That's what I was scared of. I'm glad he threw that route because he had a wide open touchdown. I should have never said I knew what to do against tight offset. I am literally getting dotted on every play right now. Come on, Kent. Wake up. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hit him. Oh, he was about to cross that line, and I was about to smack him with Shanti. He's doing a good job of audibling around. It's doing a great job of, of keeping me on my toes and keeping me guessing. And there we go. He audibles again. We got a lucky shed. He's doing a great job just mixing it up. Changing up and what he's doing. I always say on defense, change up what you're doing. If there, if it's not working, he's changing up on. Oh, trying to find what best works. Oh man, he quick hiked it right there. Oh, uh, please don't be a first down. Oh, fourth and inches. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Come on. Yes. Blow it up. No, I didn't get him back there in time. No, no, no. You all saw how good the defense works when you back him off. Ah. We should have one of these corner routes here. He can't really protect the sidelines when he's in this three-four bear. And we actually have a touchdown. Can he make the throw? My rocket. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. I was, that was nothing to do with the defense. He literally just dropped the ball. You've got to be kidding me. Vic made the throw of a century and he dropped it. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. That was such a dot for Vic and he dropped the ball. I cannot believe that. Let me get my chop here. Let me get my chop. Let me make her up. Just run. I'll swerve him. Swerve him. Swerve him. Vic. Don't catch me. Just fall. Just fall. Just fall. Vic is so fast. So good. Oh, wow. We should have one of these corner routes. Come on, baby. Oh, run, 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 run. We got him. We got him. We got him. There we go. Feet down. 
Ooh, that was a little bit scary. How did he get back to that so quick? I thought that was going to be an easy rack catch. That was a little tight window there, but okay. He's now putting that guy in a deep third. He stopped it before because we, we should have had a touchdown early. Now I can take advantage of this motion flat. If you want to ever attack cover three or cover four quickly, just throw these motion flats. This is really easy, really simple. Bam, bam. Well, ideally, ideally, you can swerve better than I can and you'll get seven yards. But even if you don't swerve it, you'll get four to five pretty easily i'm doing the same thing here i'm gonna try to redeem myself on this motion flat oh man oh man i'm getting a little bit nervous i guess y'all you all make me nervous if you have ever seen me on stream i've actually gotten the swerve pretty good i know make fun of my stick all you want go ahead comment section i've gotten better at swerving if you check out my, my second channel the way i asked you'll see me successfully successfully swerve a decent amount now, I missed it twice in a row. It's just because you guys make me nervous. I'm trying to impress you. I'm trying to be like, ooh, Ken's so good. Look at him swerve, all that action. No, 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 no. I've gotten better at it. Come on. Come on, baby. Let me get this post. Let me get this post. Beat down. Nice, baby. That's what the, the post routes and corners get to such good spacing on this game and in, in this formation on this game. They in this game too, but definitely in this formation. He spread his defense here. We're gonna try to run this fullback dive. We should have some success. It looks like he ran commit. That's we still got three yards against a run commit. I'll take it. Hopefully we have space for this. We're looking wheeler post here. We got our wheel. Quick throw, quick throw. Get up field, Dalvin. Dang, man. Third down. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'll take my wheel or my streak. Oh, he did a good job manning him up. Run, Vic! Run, Vic! Run, Vic! Let's go, baby! Way to fight! I am not gonna let him run this anymore. I am backing these guys up faster than you can say go, and we're gonna be able to stop this run every single time. Now, if he if he goes for the pass plays out of this, that is perfectly fine. I am not worried about any passes out of the Taysom Hill package. I am only playing that QB blast. If you play someone doing that, you say the same thing. If you wanna pass out of that, by all means, you can, because there's not gonna be any great pass plays. If they put a route specialist here or there, maybe they'll have some success. But you don't have to worry about the pass. You need to stop that blast, and then everything else comes to second. Now, let me get this pressure. Let me get this pressure. Oh, no one got home. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Hit him. Oh, I'm going to disguise this as if I'm sending pressure, but I'm really only going to send four people at him here. So he's probably going to max pro. Hopefully he does, and we'll be able to stop anything that he wants to put on the outside. Corner routes, anything of that nature. And we're not going to send any pressure. He's If he rolls out of the pocket, we got a spy on him. There we go. He did exactly what we wanted. Send our spy. Throw it to me. Throw it to me. Throw it to me. Let's go, baby. Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. Get one pick six, can Just get one. I really like this double post setup. Hopefully, he doesn't get home on his pressure. We've got a wide open dot. I love this double post setup, dude. It works so well. The spacing is amazing. I'm going to try to redeem myself on this swerve here. Hopefully, I can throw it and get upfield. Oh, he didn't. He left, the, he left the cloud flat. Oh, no. He left the flat out there. Come on. I expected him. Last time I beat him over the top with the corner, I expected him to keep a deep quarter there, but he did a good job keeping the flat. That's okay. That is okay. We're just going to go back to our favorite setup right here. It's not our favorite setup, but we're going to go back to a setup that we think is going to work right here. He's down. He's down here with his safety. He's, he might do it again. He might give us a touchdown again. He might do it again. They always do. They all. No way. I didn't have space to throw that. Oh, wow. I thought that was easy money. I thought that was easy money. I told you he brought his safety down in the box. Oh, if we just have like maybe three more yards. Wow, we threw our first pick. That's okay. That's okay. We're up a stop still because of that fumble on the kickoff. So we should be in good shape here. If the audibles do the blast again, I'm just going to back the guys up. There we go. There we go. Back up. Back up. We should be able to stop this here. If he wants to pass, he can go right ahead. There we go. Oh, nice cut. Never mind. I I gotta stop. I gotta stop saying I got stuff boxed because every time I do, he pulls something out of his hat. And that was a nice play. Again, we're disguising like we're sending pressure here. We're only sending five at him. Send the spy. Throw that pick. Throw that pick. Oh, wow. I don't know if that was going to be completed or not. I like our defense here. We're not disguising the blitz. He knows we're only sending four here, but that is okay. I only want to send four. I just want to continue to contain his corner routes. That's really all he's thrown from this tight offset so far. That's what makes this offense so great. I, I'm, I can't move. I can't move. He, if he can make this throw on me mad. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what it was. I could not move. I know I have controller malfunctions all the time, but I, I was stuck in the middle for a second there. No, I got stuck on Julius Peppers. No, 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 no. Good play. Uh, I've told you before. I'll tell you again. Make sure you're practicing your setups. Don't get stuck like I do. It's just, it is never good when you get stuck. He's audible. We're, we're, we're already set up. We're already set up. We should be able to blow this up. We should be able to blow this up. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Go get a hit, Shanti. Oh, fumble. Pick it up. Yeah, that's the, that's the downfall of this offense. You will fumble the ball. That is not lucky. You will fumble the ball, even on conservative, on those quarterback runs. Looking for our corner route right here. Hopefully, it lets us roll out. Go get that chop. We got it. We got it. Pass lead it. Pass lead it. Catch it on the sidelines. Holt. Nice job, baby. We have double me. I'm going to try to take advantage of it here. Hopefully, hopefully, we get time. 
Run, 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 run. We got it. We got it. He didn't double him. Go get it, baby. Yeah. What? How did he knock it out? That was about as single coverage as it can be. I don't know how he dropped that, but it is what it is. We'll go back to trying to dot here. Run, run. Oh, wow. And now we get hollowed out with a wide open route, dude. I got to get on the ball here. Ooh, he gave me a timeout. Please block this. Please block this. Run, run, run. We got him. Oh, I shouldn't have rolled out. I didn't have to. I didn't have to roll out. I didn't have to. That's my fault. The key to this task is going to be trusting my pocket. I should have Waller on the outside because he's deep quartering him. Bam. I just need to trust my pocket and make that throw. There's no reason to roll out when I'm throwing that quick uh, quick corner out to the outside. That's a habit that I think a lot of people struggle with is getting in the habit of rolling out every single time. There's no reason to do it. There's no reason to do it. Sometimes you got to stand tall in that pocket, and that's a lesson I can use too. I was keeping this cloud flat over here on the right. Please block for me. Just please block and let me get this corner out. He got off sides. I get a free play. Now I can run. Now I can run. We have a touchdown. Oh, Vic, you monster, baby. You beast of a... Oh, he's a monster QB. He is the best. I can't believe... I almost accepted that penalty in my excitement. He made up. We made up for the drop from last time. He made the throw again. Vic can make any throw. If you're looking for a QB, you got unlimited coins. Go pick yourself up a GT Vic. Or you can get yourself an RG3. I actually think RG3 is a little bit better. Just because he's uh just because he, he doesn't hit his line as much. Oh, oh, get it, get it, get it. He doesn't hit his line as much as Vic does. And he's got a little bit of a quicker in pocket release. This is the drive of the game here. If we get a stop right here, it pretty much puts us in complete control to win this game. Now it doesn't give us an automatic win or anything like that, but it puts us in a great position. Uh I can't I gotta stop him from rolling out. He just keeps getting outside the pocket. Just gotta back up. Back, back up, back up, back up, back up. No, no. Every time I don't back this guy up, he gets a huge gain. Every time I gotta be quicker. It's it's tough to click on those guys because you click on the outside linebackers and you have to click into the inside linebackers and it messes you up. There we go. All right, get, get there, get there, get there, get there. There we go, there we go. That's what we need. That is what we need. Go hit him, go hit him. Ooh, lay that down. Come on, I'm not sending pressure right here. It just looks like I am. Gotta make sure I don't give up anything deep though and we should be fine. Come on. On the streak, nothing's there. Go send the spy. Please, oh, he's got double me. I didn't even pay attention. I wasn't even paying attention. Thank you, thank you. What? How is that a touchdown? He didn't even come close to getting two feet in bounds. That was clearly one foot. And why did his double me work and not mine? Rather unfortunate sequence of events right there. Obviously, I wasn't paying attention to having double me, but I did not think he got his feet down right there. I had that block. How does he How does he miss that block right there? The running back is just staring at him, dude. Come on. Oh, wow. We're actually in position to lose this game. I actually think we've played pretty well. We've got a little bit... Uh, things just haven't gone quite our way, but it is what it is, baby. I'm going to block a bunch of people. I told you, you can block eight in this formation. It's great. It is great. And we have our... Talking about how great it is. Talking about how great it is. He just morphs through all six people that could have blocked him with a wide open corner out on the left side. This is crazy. Guys, do not think, do not think this is on the offense. I do not want you to think, oh, that offense isn't that great. You can hum at it, blah, blah, blah. You can, you can hum at any offense in this game. It is extremely effective. We've gotten some unfortunate things to go our way. And honestly, I just got to stop right here. We'll finish this game off. Come on. Nothing crazy here. Nothing crazy here. We didn't send any pressure. Oh, he's got that with me again. I wasn't even paying attention. I really wasn't even paying attention. Are you kidding me, Kent? Are you kidding me, Kent? Are you really not paying attention to that? Luckily, we got home right there. I mean, man, he would have got another double me. He still got it. I got to watch him. I literally have to watch him here. Come on. Don't give up anything crazy, Kent. I've got him double this time. No way. No way did that just work. Wow. 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 I cannot believe that just worked. We are in the sweat of a lifetime right now. We are getting dotted and it, it's honestly not even that bad. Like I didn't think that was open personally. I did not think that was open, but it is what it is. Come on. Can't wake up, play some defense. We're on the double mean nothing's there. Nothing's there. Take another sack. How did he get out of that? How did he get out of that? Oh, I am getting frustrated. I am getting very, very frustrated right now. We've got to wake up. We've got to buck up, figure out how to get a stop, figure out how to win the game. I've got to keep doubling Jerry Rice too, which is very unfortunate. Please make a tackle. Thank you. No, I'm got stuck on my outside corner. We're humming. Oh, he, he, thank you. He sidestepped that. That was really, really good pocket by him. I told you all before, play sticks, play sticks, play sticks. In a situation like this, you can, you can do whatever you want because you can play sticks and you don't have to worry about the corner routes getting over top of your players. Trust me on that. That is a key thing in this game. Now I'm going to try to take away anything else. Come on. We're here. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. Why I tell you, they're not going to get over on the... They're not going to get over on the corner routes. Now he gets three points from that. That has to be a pick, guys. Oh, he's going for it. Okay. Okay. If he wants to go for it, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Play sticks with my cover three. That's all you have to do. 
Bam. It's done. It's locked in. It's engaged. He shouldn't be able to get anything. He lost his double me, which is nice. So I can just use her Tillman. No, I said use her Tillman. And I, oh, wow, 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 wow. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. See, all you gotta do is play six. That corner out usually gets over clouds, right? Not right there. Gonna run the ball here. Make sure I can get to a hash. Try to finish this game off right. There we go. There we go. We got space. Oh, everybody block shed. We're gonna try to catch him with this tight end. Maybe we'll catch him lacking. He's down inside with his safety. You know what that means. You usually know what that means. Oh, we're just gonna have to take our post. Oh, I had the touchdown. I had it. I had it. I was scared. We gotta stay in bounds here to keep the clock running. I got a little bit scared there. I don't know why. That was an easy touchdown. It was an easy touchdown and I missed it, but that's okay. We'll just we'll just keep the ball moving here. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna play smart for once in these chaos coach videos. I'm actually gonna do what I would recommend. I'm gonna run the ball, take a little bit of clock here. He's got to spread out defense too. This could be a big game. This really could be a big game. Come on, come on. Oh, I could. Mm. He's setting heavy pressure, but he's got the guys moved out so they won't come in that fast. I'm gonna try to get the safety deep. Uh, I couldn't get it. I tried to bomb him deep. Stay Vic, I've been getting greedy. I should just take my corner out, stand tall in the pocket. We've got it. We've got it. I just got to stand tall sometimes. You don't always have to roll out in this game. Trust me, you don't. My stats don't look great, but when, they, when it's mattered, we've been able to make the play. So we're just going to continue. Try to do the smart thing here. Going to run the ball again. Just going to run this fullback dive. Let me get some space. Oh, every time I think I have a gap, it, someone just ends up being there. Looking to quick throw this flat or this corner out over here. Oh. He ran him in, I think, or he blitzed the guy, the corner off the edge. Yikes, I did not want to take a hit stick. If we had any other route other than the flat there, we had an easy touchdown. That's a very, very unfortunate play call by us right there. But you know what? He's not going to do that twice. He, he probably learned his lesson right there. I don't expect him to do that twice. We're going to put... He, I think he actually just did it again. I think he did it again. We're going to motion this guy on the streak. Please do it again. Please do it again. Please blitz that guy. Please blitz that guy. Touchdown, 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 touchdown. Let's go, baby! Finish the game off! One thing I will recommend to anyone that plays this game that's trying to get better, continue to watch what your opponent does every single play. Now, obviously, you can't just literally see the whole field, but if you pick up on something, I saw that he blitzed that corner of the play before, so take advantage of it. I put a streak the next time we get an easy touchdown. It's just little things like that, noticing where they're putting the cloud flat, noticing if they're playing to cover three shell, looking to see what your opponent's doing and trying to attack it the very next play. Back up, back up, back up. Blow up this run, blow up this run, blow up this run. We've been we've been doing a good job containing that blast anytime we move our linebackers back. And that's that's been the difference in the game, honestly. We've got our guys backed off here. We should do a very good job once again against this thing. If he wants to pass the ball, that is fine. We'll, we'll allow him to pass the ball. I'm just not going to give up anything deep. He did pass here. I'm on the double me. We got home, baby. Come on. He got a quick playoff. I, I just got to watch this. I'm not giving him that bomb. Oh, man. He, he It's under two minutes. I complain about it every video, so I'm going to complain about it again. When it's under two minutes and the clock is running, you can literally just hike the ball whenever you want. We quick hiked me right there. I couldn't get set up. And obviously, you saw I didn't have any deep blues on the field, so I had to cover the deep blue myself. He gets an easy read to his corner out. I'm not going to allow that to happen again. I'm here. I'm here. Make a tackle. Just keep him in bounds. That's all we have to do. We're up two possessions. All I have to do is keep him in bounds and not do anything crazy. Not give up any bombs. I'm going to pretend like I'm sending pressure right here. Pretending like I'm sending pressure. Move this guy in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, under two minutes. Yep, 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 yep. Under two minutes. That works every time. I'm off sides because you can just literally come out of the huddle and hike. It's, it's so frustrating. It is so frustrating that you can do that. But the clock stopped now, so I'll just get to set up perfectly. I don't... That shouldn't be the case. When it's no huddle, under two minutes, you just need to make them wait. I'm sorry. It's just unfortunate. Pick. Oh, my hook curl has to play that. Come on, guys. I do not want to have to pick up any more first downs. Come on. Get back there. Get back there. Get back there. Spy. Oh, hit him. Hit him. Oh, he needs to lay that down for me. Big. Uh, just make him waste as much time as possible. If he scores, he scores. Pick up. Yep. Back up. Back up. Spy. All right, we're going to blow this up. We're going to blow this up. I'm going to hit him in the backfield. I'm going to hit him in the backfield. I miss. He's going to the onside. Let us just recover. Any recovery probably wins the game. We can probably get into field goal range. Come on. Don't give it to him. Don't give it to him. I missed it. Oh, wow. I, I tried to run up and catch him myself, and I missed. That was not smart. Going to do the smart thing here. We're just going to run the football. Try to try to end this game right here. We're probably in field goal range. 40-yard line. That should be field goal range. I don't have the best kicker because, you know, I'm a cheapskate, and I don't try to be picking up the best kickers all the time. But I'm pretty sure I have a decent enough kicker to make a 57-yarder. I could be wrong. If we miss it, we miss it. I'm just going to run the ball three times, make him take his timeouts. And if I get a first down, the game's over. If I don't get a first down... We'll, we'll kick the field goal and win the game. Now, as long as I don't lose like three yards on this fullback dive, which I shouldn't, we should be okay. I'm actually going to motion this guy across. Maybe this will maybe this get a little bit better blocking. This is how you learn what stuff's good or not. You test stuff right there. He trips up. That should be a first. That should be a first down. 
There we go, baby. GG's, GG's, GG's. We're gonna finish this game out. I know we had a lot of games in this video. Long video, long, long video. I am sorry for that. I am sorry for that, but you know what? It was fun. It was fun. We got to showcase the offense a little bit. This game wasn't our, this last one wasn't our best game, but you know what? We did have a couple of things that could have went our way. We dropped a wide open touchdown streak uh, with a rat catch and we dropped a double me when we've unlocked double me. That's something this offense is gonna do. It's gonna unlock double me because you're going to throw posts and corner routes and crossing routes a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I didn't really utilize the crossing route in this game, uh, excuse me, in this video, but it's something that you can do. So we're going to close this game out. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all are not tired of hearing my voice. That's it for me. Take it easy. Peace.